All right, for a long time now, I've been really fascinated with snow. Although I can't really stand the cold, I've always wondered what it'd be like to create something like this in Blender. Unfortunately, there's not that many tutorials on the web, and for a brief time, I thought this is something that just couldn't be done. <sighs> About to give up, I found something really interesting on Pinterest, which kind of motivated me to give it a shot. I think the hardest part for any artist is actually starting out the scene. When you open up Blender, you have this blank canvas just staring at you and at some points you just don't know what to do. At this stage, I only recommend doing the big shapes. The small and medium details will follow out later throughout the scene. So as you can see here, I'm just really blocking out the big shapes, the important parts and this will just kind of give you a sense of reference for the scale. Then later on, we'll worry about the details. Right here is probably where you might want to start experimenting with your camera, the position and, you know, just to kind of figure out the basic composition of the entire scene. Then also edit in an HDR just to get a basic look of the environment. For the snow material, I used three different noise textures each set to a different scale to get the small detail, medium detail, and the large detail information. I'll leave this setup right here on the screen just in case you maybe want to copy that and try that out in your own scene. With the principal BSDF, I turned up the subsurface scattering all the way to 1, then added in an RGB color node, which I changed the color from white to a light blue color. Then from this, what you're going to need to do is connect the color information into the radius of the subsurface scattering. That done, I also added in a Veroni texture and switched from 2D to 4D. And also changed the N1 value to the sphere radius. Then change the scale to a large number, something like 600 should be okay. And we're going to use this as a mask for our reflection. So I'm just adding a color ramp over here. I just want to kind of increase the saturation of the image. And then we'll grab the color information and we'll plug it into the clear coat. In case you're curious, this is what the texture should look like. To sell the look of the snow, I went into the sculpting mode and I grabbed a, a clay strips brush and inverted it. That way I would make some holes which would kind of act as a pathway that would lead towards the cabin. This also kind of helped with the composition. So over here we have this sort of leading line that is guiding our eyes towards the cabin. I wasn't too impressed with the ground material so I also decided to add in a particle system which would serve as the grass. To control the particle system, I went into the weight painting mode and just decided to paint in some areas of where the grass would be. I wanted the grass to be sort of around this pathway. And this just sort of made our scene look a bit more realistic, I guess. You could try and just scatter the grass elements around the whole scene, but I felt like there was just no need for that. I mean, you're not going to see the grass behind the house. So instead, let's maybe put it in front of the camera where we can see it. And in place of that, we could save up some memory and add in more trees, perhaps. And with this, it kind of gave me assurance that our scene is heading towards the place where we actually wanted to go, which is good. So now I want to start focusing on some details. In specific, I just want to remove this block out at first and place in a proper house. I found this one, this cabin looking house on CG Trader. I did not model that at all. I will leave a link down in the description just in case you might be curious or want to download that for yourself. And I think this is the part where we might want to start adding in some foliage. Now, if you're like me, you're lazy, you don't want to create this for yourself, I came across an add-on called Botanic. I'll also leave a link down in the description for this, but yeah, this is what I'll be using. So just turn it on 
over here in the add-on section just make sure that that checkbox is ticked now if you have a look over here you should now have this section called botanic and the nice thing about this is you can just drag and drop your assets you just click this thing over here look for the trick that you're looking for and in our case since we are doing a snowy scene you just click the tree and press ok it's as easy as that this is the part where you just go wild on your scene and just populate your whole scene with different trees um, different plants and so on um, just be careful you know <laughs> the moment you add in trees inside your program it will start becoming laggy depending on the type of computer you're using so just thought i should mention that also in case you're curious this is how the scene should probably look like right now i noticed from my reference that snow kind of builds up where two objects kind of touch each other so this will be this part of the house using the sculpting brushes in blender you could just raise up these areas over here i added in some shrubs right in front of the cabin followed up by some rocks right in front of the camera and pretty much all over the scene so blender has this add-on which it comes with called real snow and basically what this add-on allows you to do is to add in some snow onto an object I use this to just pretty much scatter snow all over my objects so like the roof and all the other rocks that I had in the scene. I just duplicated the trees a few more times just to increase that sense of scale and with that the scene is pretty much finished. I'd say spend some time experimenting with the different lighting, the different textures and you know different vegetations and settings it might look like i made the scene in just 15 minutes but in all honesty the scene did take about maybe four weeks or so anyways this is the end of the video if you made it this far write me a comment or subscribe down below because i'm constantly constantly did i mention constantly making new videos this is Mpom and I'm signing out. I'll see you in the next video.